Hi, I'm Mike, Poketips Mike, and welcome back to episode number three of my Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke. So last time, my friends, we went through Sprout Tower, and let me tell you, Sprout Tower was a lot more interesting off-camera. I did some training in between the episodes there, because I figured it was a good training spot, and I ran into so many legendaries, Registeel, Deoxys, but of course it's all off-camera, so you didn't get to hear me scream like I normally would when I encounter legendary Pokémon. We also got to see our first ever randomized evolution, where Momo the Sea Dot evolved into a Bulbasaur, and I'm also really interested to see how this is going to go, because Bulbasaur evolves at level 16. So I feel like we're going to get to see another randomized evolution very soon. But enough with dwelling on the past, today we're going to our first gym, and we're going to be taking on the gym leader, Faulkner. So let's see how that goes, hopefully it goes well. And I've got Swalot chasing behind me, which is kind of funny, because last time we learned that it basically anything it could fit in its mouth, it's going to eat. So it kind of feels risky having this thing follow me around, but we're going to do it anyway. So let's go, woo, we're going up high in the sky. Now they give us the option to just straight up run around these guys and go fight the gym leader, but that's no fun. We've got to warm up and get ourselves ready. There's an old saying, good things come to those who wait. I'm not really sure if that applies to this situation, but we're going to go ahead and try it anyway. I don't know what this guy was saying. Something about being ridiculously high up. Yeah, we are pretty high up right now. Bird Keeper Abe, and ooh, he's got the Tyranitar. See, I would have missed out on that awesome Tyranitar there if I ran around the outside. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about Tyranitar's Sprite and Heart Gold and Soul Silver. It kind of makes it look like a little baby. Some Pokemon, like Typhlosion, they look way better as sprites than they do in the 3D models. But I don't know, Tyranitar, this thing doesn't look threatening at all. It makes me want to go over there and go squeeze its little cheeks. Go, ooh, kablooka, blooka. Alright, so Swalot. When we level up Swalot, we actually got Razor Leaf, so I feel like now is a better time than ever to go ahead and try out our Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf Swalot. Oh, goodness. Why are we getting critical hit right in the beginning of the battle? At least tell me we're getting a critical hit back. No! No! Pentapus, whose name I still have not fixed, it still says Swalot there. But Pentapus, you are letting me down so much right now. Uh, let's see, who can I swap in to take a good Rock-type move? Toph. Toph. We'll go with Toph. Alright, Toph, let's see if you can handle a big Tyranitar. I know you can definitely work with this Sandstorm. It's gonna be nice having you in here not taking Sandstorm damage every single turn. But honestly, I can't get mad at Pentapus for not being able to take that move too well. Tyranitar is a really, really strong rock Pokemon, so... I don't think anything on my team would be able to take that rock move well. Let's just hope it doesn't have something... Ooh, wow, it has a worse rock move for us. Rock Slide. Ouch. Ouch, I am so glad we have something that resists rock on this team. We'd be in a world of hurt right now. Can Metal Claw finish it off right here though? Please tell me it can, I hope it can. Yes it can. There we go, bye bye Tyranitar, it was nice seeing ya. Let's hope we don't see another one of you for a very long time. This can't be true. What, a bird keeper using a Tyranitar? I know, it's pretty weird. Okay, we're healed up. Ugh, I don't know, I'm legitimately scared and also excited for the Gym Leader Faulkner battle. I'm just kind of worried because my team is all low leveled and we can only use one item in the battle. And I'm debating on if I want to do more training or not, but I feel like if I do training, then we might just sweep through the whole Gym Leader. So it's such a dilemma. I know some of you guys, you love it when I just overtrain my Pokemon and we're super strong going into battles, but me and I know plenty of other people, we like the challenge. So I guess we'll go in with the team that we have right now, unless this battle really messes me up, and it might, because Hippowdon and Pentapus is not a good combo. I really gotta swap and stop using Pentapus as my lead Pokemon. It's not working out well at all. Sokka, you're up, buddy, who is now at level 10. I don't remember if Sokka got any new moves or not. Nope, looks like the same old, same old. And this is weird. This really feels like, oh, we're missing. Okay, and Horn Attack, how much is that gonna do? I feel like it's gonna hurt. Not too much, but next turn we're definitely gonna be worried. Might have to swap out of this. Just at least hit one clamp. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I forgot what I was saying, too. I'm kind of upset now. Okay, and here comes the spikes. That's gonna be annoying, because we are gonna have to swap. Uh, here, let's go into Momo. I think Momo's a good choice. First time ever seeing Bulbasaur in this game. It's so weird for me having a Bulbasaur now. I like the whole randomized evolution, but it's so weird how I could go from having one Pokemon and getting used to that to having something completely, completely different. Bulbasaur and Seedot are nothing alike at all. We even gained the poison type. Ooh, nice crit, Momo. Even though you're a different Pokemon now, you still have that awesome ability to get these amazing critical hits when we need them. 
All right, Pentapus is getting to level 11. Sokka's also getting to level 11. I knew it, Sokka levels up so fast. Scary face. No, we're not learning at that. Nothing's gonna look at a little Poliwhirl and think that face is scary. And come on, buddy, have something weak as your second Pokemon. I'd really like it if you had something weak right now. Ooh, yes, Cheruby. That's the weak stuff that I'm talking about. All right, Swalot, swallow those cherries! All right, and there we go. Just like that, the two trainers down, and we're ready to jump into Gym Leader Faulkner. Again, I don't know how I feel about this team, though. Well, I think what I'll do is go back to the Sprout Tower and at least train Mako up to level 10, so at least everything on my team is past level 10. All right, my friends, we're back and we're all trained up, and you know what? We actually are all trained up, because I figured, why stop at just training Mako right now? We're going to train up basically the whole entire team. I know Faulkner's levels are boosted up more than a regular trainer, plus we only get to use one item in the whole entire battle, and unfortunately, at this point in the game, I don't have any items. I should probably go to the Mart and buy some. <laughs> but like I was saying, unfortunately, at this point in the game, I can only buy potions, which only restore 20 HP. And we are gonna pick a few of them up, but the problem is, all of my Pokémon have a lot more than just 20 HP, so if I need to use a potion in battle, it's not really gonna do anything for us. And this guy over here just sells mail and some special Pokéballs. I did buy some Netballs, because those are always good. But yeah, I figured since I'm only limited to one item, which is basically zero at this point in the game, since the potions that we have are not gonna be good, I might as well level up to kind of like give myself a little bit of a fighting chance here. And speaking of fighting chance, Mako, as much as I love you, you are not a Pokemon to put in the lead of the party. We're gonna lead off with the Boulder. Because the Boulder, you know, is basically the most defensive Pokemon I have on my team. And that typing gives it a lot of good matchups. And anything it's basically bad against, we have something else on the team that we could swap into. I don't know, I also feel like I should have leveled up Momo one more time to get it to level 16 and evolve it again. But I want to give it the ultimate test. I want to see if Momo can get through this gym battle. Because chances are we're going to have to use Momo in this battle since it's our strongest and highest leveled Pokemon. So if Momo gets to this battle and it levels up, we'll get to see another randomized evolution. But enough with all that, let's go ahead and take on the big man himself, Gym Leader Faulkner. I'm Faulkner, the Violet City Pokemon Gym Leader. People say you can clip flying-type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of magnificent bird Pokemon. All right, my friends, here we go. First Gym Leader in Pokemon Heart Gold version, Gym Leader Faulkner. And the Gym Leader music in this game is so good. Ooh, Dragonair. Are we fighting Faulkner or Claire? But the gym leader music in this game is so good, it gets me so hyped up. So let's go ahead, let's have a really good battle and hopefully not lose anybody here. All right, Boulder, let's start off with our strongest move here. Oh, yeah, second strongest move. Let's go for Power Gem. And nice, we do outspeed the Dragonair. Kind of weird seeing a Boulder outspeed a Dragon, but anything can happen, I guess. And Dragon Breath, how much is that gonna do? Ooh, 10 damage and the Paralysis. That's gonna be annoying. Ugh, I kind of want to go for Dig here right now, because Power Gem didn't do enough. I know, I think Dig would do enough, because it has a little bit more power than Power Gem, but the problem is we're going to be risking getting fully paralyzed. Do I want to take that chance for the KO? Let's do it, just please game, don't fully paralyze me. We can't risk... Oh no, we're getting a critical hit. They're getting a critical hit, we're going to lose a Pokemon this battle, it's over already. Please, just don't fully paralyze me. It's like a 25% chance we're gonna hit the dig. Is that gonna do enough? Yes! Dragon down! That's how we do it, but we got paralyzed by the dragon breath. That's not what I wanted to see there. Leveling up to 13 is pretty nice, though. Any new moves? No. And she's sending out a... S she. He's sending out a Steelix next. Gym Leader Jasmine signature Pokemon. Now this, I guess we could swap out Sokka in here. I feel like the boulder would be able to take out this thing, but we are weak to steel type moves, so Sokka should be good coming in here, and it's going for Steel Wing. Where are the wings on a Steelix? I don't see any wings there. I guess Faulkner's gotta remind me he's the flying type gym leader somehow, and Extreme Speed. So we have a Steel Wing, Extreme Speed, Steelix. This is definitely a randomizer. <laughs> Oh, wow, are you serious? Bubble's only doing that much damage? Come on, Sokka, you're supposed to be good against this thing. That's a super effective move. Please tell me Clamp is going to do a little bit more damage. Otherwise, we're going to die to extreme speed. Come on, Sokka, take this well. Ugh, and we are hitting the Clamp. Kind of worried about that thing missing, but again, it's not doing any damage. How? 
We're a water type Pokemon. It's super effective. Why are we doing nothing? All right, now I don't know what to do. We can't bring out Mako. We can't bring out Pentapus. Toph doesn't have anything good. Momo, uh, I don't want to use Momo yet. I feel like it's too early for Momo. You know what we're going to do? We'll use our one potion right here right now and swap in to the boulder. Although that's risky because one, we're paralyzed and two, it has Steel Wing. I don't know, maybe if we could get a good dig off on it, we'll do well. But there goes our one item for the whole entire battle and it doesn't even fully heal our health. You see what I mean? We are not doing too hot. This is definitely why we needed those extra levels right there. All right, let's bring out the boulder and Steelix, please don't do that much damage. Please use extreme speed here. Do it, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know it's almost out of extreme speed PP. It only has like, what, five of it? Oh, wow, it only did two damage. That's awesome. So now, I don't know. Should we go for Dig or should we go for Bone Rush? Bone Rush can miss. Dig is a two-turn move, so we have to get lucky both times and not get fully paralyzed. I don't know what we should do here. And both of them, I'm sure both of these moves are not going to do anywhere near as much as I want them to do to this Steelix. Ugh, what to do, what to do, this is tough, this is tough! Why do I have to make these tough decisions in the first gym battle? Eh, let's go ahead and try Dig. Alright, here's the Steel Wing. How much is that gonna do to us? I know we have good defense, but no, we are taking a lot of damage. We are able to get turn one of the Dig off, though. We just need to get lucky one more time. Please, please hit- No! Ugh. Alright, I guess let's try Bone Rush now. Ugh, I think we're gonna lose the boulder this battle. I think we have to. Yup, 4 HP, and we're getting fully paralyzed again. That sucks. That is the worst. That paralysis from the dragon there was so bad for us. We even used our only item on this thing, but there's nothing we can do. Boulder? No, and it's getting a defense boost too. Boulder, rest in peace. Oh, that's terrible. What can we even do here? I guess now we've got to go into Momo. Come on out, Momo. And we don't have good moves for this thing. Needle Arm really isn't gonna do that much because of the defense boost. But let's give it a shot. Maybe we'll get the flinch. Hopefully we get the flinch. Maybe we can flinch this thing down. Yes, we are getting a flinch. Let's keep this flinch going. Momo, if you could flinch this thing to death, we might be back into this battle. Yes! Come on, flinch number three, please! Please, give me another flinch. Please, please, please! No, okay, he's getting one Steel Wing off. That's okay though, we got two flinches, and that Steel Wing isn't doing a terrible amount of damage. Now let's switch over to Absorb, we need to get our health back. We don't have any potions left, I really don't want to lose Momo. I want to see what Momo evolves into. I really want to see what Momo evolves into. So we need to get rid of this Steelix. Ah, oh, we're in the yellow, I'm not liking that. Absorb, pull a miracle, do enough damage, and knock out the Steelix. I need you to do this. This is only a second Pokemon, we're already in so much trouble, but there it goes. There it goes. So we lost one of our Pokemon, we used our only item, but we at least got rid of the Steelix, and now Momo is getting to level 16. Let's just keep Momo alive. And Sokka's getting to level 13 too. Hopefully Sokka makes it through this battle too. And here comes a Delcaddy. Okay, why are you swapping in a Delcaddy against me? It's making me worry. Toph, you're coming out. If this Delcaddy has normal type moves, we got you. Let's just hope this Delcaddy doesn't have fire type moves. I'm hoping that's not why I brought it in. Brave Bird! Woo! -hoo -hoo! I am glad I swapped out there. That Brave Bird would have hurt a lot. That would have taken out Momo, and we would have had one dead Momo right there. All right, Momo, we need you to hit the mirror shot. Ooh, it's got swagger. Okay, that's interesting. That's interesting. Our attack has raised, but now we're confused. And I know if we hurt ourselves on confusion, we're gonna do a lot of damage to ourselves, which is gonna suck. But if we can power through and get some attacks off, we're actually gonna do really well. Nice crit, Toph! Nice crit! Let's keep going. Let's go for Metal Claw here. Brave Bird's coming at us again. We just gotta hope that we can keep attacking even though we're confused. If we can, this is going to be a blessing for us. But if we hurt ourselves, we're in trouble. Nice! Nice! There it is! There it is, Toph! Take him out! Ooh, you messed up, Faulkner. You messed up badly. Now let's hope we get an early snap out. Ooh, Kingler. Okay, not too crazy about the Kingler here. Ugh, I kind of don't want to switch now that our attack is raised, but also, imagine if we hurt ourselves and we take a Water-type move from the Kingler, it's not going to be too good for us. So let's bring out Momo. I think this is the smart thing to do right now. Let's swap into Momo and hope for the best. We should be able to take a Water-type move pretty well. Ooh, Brine. 
Okay, Brian is annoying, because if its health gets low, it's gonna do a lot more damage to us. So let's try going for Needle Arm, actually. And oh, it's got Ice Fang. Please don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Duh. And just like that, we lost Momo. I wanted Momo alive. I wanted to see what Momo evolved into. I think Momo's still gonna try to evolve, assuming we get through this battle. Because now I don't know. Now I don't know. Our team really isn't doing too good. Alright, Mako, you're up. Please don't go down to this Kingler as well. Uh, we could go for the Thundershock and get the damage, but I know this thing is fast, so I'm gonna try to slow it down with the Thunder Wave. And- Ooh, wow! No! Are you kidding? Ooh, we're getting the first turn thaw out! Why are you doing this to me, game? Why are you making me go through a range of emotions like that? Stop it! Stop it! I can't handle this. Oh, my poor heart right now. This is too much for me. This is too much for me. I thought I trained up enough, but apparently I didn't do enough training. Nice, we got fully paralyzed, though. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's go for a Razor Leaf here. Let's go for Razor Leaf. Now this Kingler is slow, so I think we should be able to take it out. Wow, Razor Leaf is doing nothing but another fully paralyzed. Pentapus, I need you to get a critical hit with this Razor Leaf. I fixed your name, so do well for me. Nature Power, try attack. Okay, this is another thing that can give me status conditions. Watch me get frozen again. Watch it happen again. Ah, oh, paralyzed again. Stop this. The status conditions are messing me up so badly in this battle. It's so annoying. Alright, here we go again. At least we know we can tank this well. And good, we are going to get our attack through. I guess, honestly, it could have been worse. We could have got burned, which would have really crippled our damage output. And we could have got frozen, which would have stopped us from attacking altogether. And now it's going for Steel Wing? Again, where are the wings coming from on these Pokémon? Why do Faulkner's Pokémon all have Steel Wing? But Kingler is down. Okay, Toph's getting to level 13. I don't know, guys. I don't know, he has two more Pokemon left, but my whole team is in shambles. Ooh, we got Yawn, though. Let's get rid of Smog for that. I don't like Smog's accuracy. It's more than likely gonna miss whenever I try using that. Yawn may be able to get us through the battle here. Love Disk. Okay, Love Disk I feel like we should be good against. I can't swap, even though Sokka would be great. Pentapus, I feel like we should be able to just knock it out with Razor Leaf, so let's try that. What? 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 Why do you have Psycho Cut? Super effective, it's only doing 6 damage. <laughs> what is going on here? Guys, this is too much for me. Oh, we got the crit! There we go, love this down. This is too much for me though, I'm seeing all these super effective moves and then they're doing such weird amount of damage to me, and his final Pokemon is Persian. It's like we're fighting against Giovanni over here. Alright, well, in this situation, I kind of want to give this thing a status condition. Let's go for Yawn. Let's go for Yawn. Ooh, Slash, don't crit me. Uh, why? <laughs> why? Why? Okay, well, this is it. Tough, let's just hope he doesn't have any other moves that are good against us. If its best move is Slash, then we should be good. If he has something better than Slash, we're in trouble. Alright, Slash, we should be able to take it. We should be able to take it, especially if it's only doing 5 damage. We're gonna land the mirror shot. I'm always scared using this move, because I know it misses. And nice. Nice, the crits are always coming in when I need them. And now, let's try to finish this thing off with what should be guaranteed damage right here. I think this should be a guaranteed knockout. Let's Metal Claw this Persian and take it out. Okay. There we go. We beat... Gym Leader Faulkner. That was the hardest first gym battle I think I've ever fought. And now we're gonna see Momo evolve, even though Momo is dead. Momo, what were you going to evolve into? What? <laughs> what? A Neat Arena. So it started off as a C Dot, then it evolved into a Bulbasaur, and then finally it evolved into a Neat Arena. Well, Momo, unfortunately, my friends, this is where your journey comes to an end. Tragic. At least we got to see the evolution, though. For pity's sake, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon, but a defeat is a defeat. All right, take this official Pokemon League badge. This one is the Zephyr badge. 
And we got our first gym badge. I'm not too happy about that one though. We lost way too many good Pokemon in that battle. With that badge, Pokemon, including traded Pokemon up to level 20, will obey you without question. It also enables you to use the hidden move Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. Ugh, wow, that was brutal. That was absolutely brutal! I know we've had tough first gym battles in the past, but ugh, losing three Pokemon that way was just terrible. And there really wasn't anything I could do in those situations either, which made it so rough. I didn't have any good potions at this point in the game. But Professor Elm is calling me. I hope you have some good news for me, buddy, because I'm feeling pretty down right now. Hello, Poketip? We discovered something. The details are, well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant is at the Pokemart in Violet City. Could you go meet him and pick up that egg? Oh yeah, that's right, we get a little Pokemon egg right here. Well, I guess that would be an encounter for Violet City, so I can use it because the Sprout Tower, that's its own area. And until we get a fishing rod, we can't really catch anything in Violet City, so I'll go get that egg and maybe we can use it. But first, we need to have our first ever Pokemon funeral in this game. How terrible. That was really, really awful. Well, Momo, you were an insanely fun Pokemon to have. You started off as a little C dot. you evolved into a Bulbasaur, and you finished off your adventure dead, but you still managed to evolve into a neat arena. That's pretty impressive, evolving while you're dead. The boulder, oh, I loved your name. And you definitely should not have gone down. That paralysis was so dumb. So dumb. If you weren't paralyzed, you probably would have been able to take out that Steelix for me too. And Pentapus, I finally fixed up your name, and then you just went down. It was a critical hit though, I'm sure you could have survived. And then I probably would have switched into Toph, which we now know was able to take out that last Pokemon pretty easily. And it would have been even easier if it was asleep, so honestly, if we didn't get unlucky there, we could have kept almost all these Pokemon alive. Really, really unlucky first gym battle. Rest in peace, guys. Well, let's go over to the Pokemart and pick up that egg and watch them now sell Super Potions. If they sell Super Potions now, I'm gonna be so mad. Welcome, what do you need? Super Potions. <gasps> I'm mad. I'm mad. That's also kind of funny. Look at Toph going inside, and my hair actually too. We're both too big for this place and we're somehow inside of the counter. Wait a second, who are you? You look like the mystery gift man. Good evening. Poketip, isn't it? I have a package for you from your mom. Oh, mom bought me something? They're playing some sort of sick joke on me right now. You've got to be joking. My mom bought me a super potion too? Well, thank you everybody for giving me the super potions now. Only after I lost three of my team members. Well, let's talk to this guy. I don't think he's gonna give me super potions. Long time no see, Poketip. I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor Elm. The thing is, we would like you to take care of this egg. Yeah, I'll take any Pokemon I could get at this point. After you left, Professor Elm received a phone call. I don't care, let's go hatch this egg. Oh, and who are you? Hello there. Me oh my, that egg must be... I see. So it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then from Professor Elm to you. Now I get it. That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take care of it for me. Is that understood? Spinny, spinny, spinny. I am counting on you. Okay, that is kind of weird. Well, anyway, let's run around and hatch this egg. Alright, finally! I have been running around for like 10 or 15 minutes with the game super sped up, and this egg is finally hatching. So I'm thinking we're either getting a legendary Pokemon out of this, something glitchy, or it's gonna be a bad egg that crashes my game, because I don't know anything that takes this many steps to hatch. So let's see what in the world was inside of this egg, and it was... an Umbreon? Alright, well that's definitely a first. I've never seen an Umbreon hatch out of an egg before. Maybe that's why it took so many steps. Alright, well let's give a warm welcome to Yue, the Umbreon named after the Moon Spirit from Avatar. Oh, that's funny. We've got Sokka and Yue right next to each other. If you've watched Avatar, you'll know why that's pretty cool. Oh, well here we go, and let's see. We've got Assurance, Payback, Mudshot, and Extra Sensory. I can't believe that thing took so many steps to hatch though. I was running for such a long time, I honestly thought it was gonna be like a bad egg and crash my game. Well, maybe that's why one of those kimono girls came out and said, take good care of this egg, it's something special. Cause I don't think anybody in the whole entire Pokemon world has ever seen an Umbreon hatch out of an egg before. So with that, my friends, I think we're gonna bring this episode to a close. We lost a lot of Pokemon this episode. A lot of really good Pokemon, and then the game trolled me by giving me a bunch of super potions right after the gym when we could have totally used them in the gym battle. 
But we got our first gym badge, only 15 more to go. Let's hope the rest of the battles aren't like that one, otherwise I'm not gonna make it very far. So my friends, thanks so much for watching this episode. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you definitely give it a huge thumbs up. Do it for the Umbreon that took 50,000 steps to hatch out of its egg. And you know what, let's even have UA come behind me for the end of this episode right here. Look at that, so beautiful, so beautiful. And my friends, thanks again for watching, and I'll be seeing you in the next one.